Three months after the introduction of its new E-Class, Mercedes now presents the model's coupe version. The coupe retains the E-Class typical four-eyed face of the sedan. The view from the side is one of a smooth full cabin window, unbroken by a B column. Two new four-cylinder engines are available in the coupe version. They burn 17% less fuel but yield more power and torque. E-Class Coupe start at 45,000 euros in Germany. Renault's Grand Scenic is 7 centimeters longer than its predecessor. The French car maker has given the new compact van a fresher look and there's more head and leg room. The Grand Scenic is available in three gasoline and four diesel engine versions. The standard version has a six-speed transmission and an automatic transmission is also available. Look for the dual-clutch DCT version at the end of 2009. Prices for the Grand Scenic in Germany start at 19,100 euros. Sporty and fast describe the Golf GTI out on the road. For over three decades, the little Volkswagen has exemplified dynamic driving and youthful vigor. And the latest Golf makeover is no exception. With its sixth generation GTI, Volkswagen wants to continue the long history of success that has created the Golf car legend. Der GTI, das ist eine Symbiose aus vernünftigen Fahren, aus langstrecken Fahren. Volkswagen's Harald Ludenek describes the GTI as a symbiosis of the practical, the sporty, and what's needed for long distance rides. He says that was also the original concept for the GTI when it was launched in 1976. Since then, 1.7 million of them have been sold, and Harald credits that success to the car's versatility. The GTI is not only good on long trips, it's also lots of fun on windy roads, off road, or even on the Nürburgring racetrack. Und das haben wir auch wieder hier mit dem neuen GTI geschaffen. A meeting of generations. The new and the old. Determined not to abandon the older car's proven features, Volkswagen managed to retain the flair of the former while employing new modern technologies, like the front lights. The more rounded form of the new design allows the radiator grille and headlights to appear as one. The modern design extends to the rims as well. As ever, the GTI logo emblazons the rear, where a roof spoiler contributes to improve handling. It's also got GTI's distinctive dual exhaust system. The car is already receiving rave reviews. The new GTI Ludenick says the new GTI is based on the Golf 6, which was introduced last October. It was the quietest car in its class. Volkswagen built upon that car's attributes to create a model with 210 horsepower that consumes one liter less of fuel per 100 kilometers than its predecessor and emits only 170 grams of CO2 per kilometer. Ludenick calls it the right car for the times. Remarkably, the new Golf GTI has twice as much power as its predecessor, yet burns on average less than 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers. It takes the GTI a mere 6.9 seconds to race from 0 to 100, and the compact handles well in curves, thanks to state-of-the-art technology. Harald Ludenek praises Volkswagen's engineers who developed the Golf's new electronic transverse differential lock system, called XDS. It's based on stability control and electronically anticipates conditions on curves and transfers more torque to outside wheels, then preventatively applies braking force, which improves traction. The XDS, says Harald, ensures a smoother and more agile ride through the curves. 
automatisch in die Kurve und fährt noch agiler in die Kurven hinein. This technology makes the GTI safer and sounder, even at high speeds. The GTI handles magnificently on the road. The checkered seats are still there, but you can also get leather sports seats with integrated headrests. The original GTI interior, once upon a time. The cockpit of today is modern and very well arranged. A dual clutch transmission is available, as well as a navigation system with a large display. This workmanship is superb. Among all vehicles in the Golf class, the GTI has created its own new category. Other car makers are trying to copy it, but there's nothing like the original. For many, the GTI is the affordable dream car. In Germany, the latest generation Golf GTI starts at 25,650 euros. M is for motorsport and a special range of performance modified BMW models. The X6 Sports Activity Coupe now has a new addition bearing the prestigious badge. Its V8 engine delivers 555 horsepower, propelling the X6M from 0 to 100 in a mere 4.7 seconds. Suspension and steering come with special performance options. The X6M is due to go on sale in Germany in October for 108,500 euros. Toyota's Verso has been given a makeover to cater to European tastes. The dynamic lounge concept gives the new model the versatility of a compact MPV and the power and performance of a sedan. Second and third row passengers can look forward to enhanced ride comfort. The Verso comes with a choice of five engines boasting enhanced output but significantly better fuel efficiency. Prices for the new model in Germany start at 21,250 euros. The city is where the Peugeot 1007 is most at home. This small, compact, uncomplicated French minivan fits right in. Say goodbye to boredom. This little wonder is unique, inside and out. The 1007's two electric sliding doors and spacious, versatile interior make it an oddity in the small car jungle. The Camellio concept means the freedom to arrange the interior as you like. This could make the 1007 a cold car. Trend cars always go through a sort of metamorphosis, says Peugeot dealer Christian Polenz, because trends come and go, and the 1007's Camellio kit allows owners to transform the car as they please. So the 1007 is in effect always trendy. Nine different decor kits are enough creative options to keep the 1007 permanently in line with the latest trends. This man likes the fact that a husband and wife could take turns changing the colors to their liking. He also likes the color versatility and says he would even consider changing colors based on the seasons, for example, like the color to green in the spring. Individuality has its price. An 18-piece Camellio kit costs about 250 euros. It's not cheap, but just think of how quickly you can change the design of your dash, interior door panel, and backrests, and no tools are needed. This woman is less enthused by what she sees as little more than a gimmick, a bunch of silly gadgets. She says the car is for driving, not designing during the ride, which would just distract her. Clearly, it's a matter of taste, but the surprises to the 1007 don't stop with the interior. Inside and out, the strongly individualist Peugeot has the kind of eye-catching design that distinguishes it among small cars. The 92-centimeter wide electric sliding doors on both sides are standard. A push of a button is all it takes to open or close them. This man likes the doors, which he says are perfect when your hands are full and all you need is a free finger to open them. His female counterpart is equally impressed with the one-push mechanism. 
This woman says she'd much appreciate the practical simplicity of the one-push door opener, especially when her hands are full of shopping and school bags. Einkaufstaschen, Schulranzen etc., was ich alles immer schleppen muss. Und da finde ich es sehr, sehr praktisch, dass die Tür hier so auf und zu fährt. The Peugeot 1007 is a breath of fresh air in the small car segment. Practical and creative, always keeping with trends. French innovation and technology and design options, not to mention its five-star NCAP crash test rating, make this car a winner in and around the city. Gut, klein. It's small and comfortable, ideal for big cities, says this woman. This driver agrees and adds that the car would be great for the countryside too. Peugeot's 14,000 euro price tag in Germany seems a bit hefty for a small car, but that also includes the very practical sliding doors and a uniquely personal interior configuration that is nothing less than revolutionary in the realm of small cars.